Welcome back. It is 7.53. A grant now makes it possible to test thousands of backlogged rape kits in Dallas and also combat a crime that really is on the rise. Dallas District Attorney Susan Hawk is here to talk about this new battle against sexual assaults. Thank you so much for being here. Good First morning. of all, I hear this number that there are 4,000 rape kits that are just sitting there waiting to be processed. How did it come to this? How are they just sitting there and not being tested? Uh, there has been a backlog of 4,140 rape kits that have not been tested. So the district attorney's office in collaboration with Dallas Police Department is making every effort through a grant to test these, um, these rape kits so we can um, Finally, the victims in these cases can receive justice. I can't imagine if you're a woman, you've been sexually assaulted and you're, you're hoping to find out who it was. And the answer may be just sitting there and you're waiting for this. Do we know how it got to be this bad? It just, I mean, thank goodness for the funding that we now have available to do that. And um, I can't imagine a woman who's been a victim of such a horrific crime t tells the police and then they've been waiting and yeah. just waiting for justice to be served. And it's, um, it's, it's terrible. And what's worse is more and more of these cases are happening, more sexual assaults happening. In fact, in Dallas, sexual assaults are up this year by almost 38%. So far this year, 298 rapes have been reported to Dallas police. That's up from 216 this time last year. You look at those numbers, I mean, that's troubling. Very troubling. And I think that's why it's so imperative and important that we're creating actually a sexual assault unit, mm -hmm. that we have all the resources available at the district attorney's office. Um, you know, there was one designated prosecutor before that was handling these cases and one investigator. Now we've doubled that. We have two designated prosecutors who handle only the sexual assaults in Dallas County. Mm -hmm. So that includes the cases that are being tested right now and um, the current cases that are filed with the district attorney's office. So their caseload is heavy. So we have two designated investigators as well, and we're bringing on a victim advocate. So when a victim okay. does tell and they go through the process, that they can be rest assured that the district attorney's office is doing everything to try to make this process a little bit easier for them. I remember when you won election and you came here on Good Day, that was one of the very first things that you yeah. and I talked about was you really wanted to focus on this um, and, and really try to get through this backlog of, of these kits. Um, as far as the grant money, where's this grant money coming from? How long is it going to last? I think that's the big question. How do well, we make sure once we get through these kits that we don't end up well, that is, spot. and that's the great thing about bringing awareness to this. Um, I think the Dallas, the, the funding was provided to the Dallas Police Department, and that's okay. why we created a task force to work with them. They're actually doing the testing. There's 4,140 test uh, rape kits that were not tested. To date, there's been 380 that have been tested, and 125 have received a hit. So right. it, that means that out of 125 of those, um, 20 of those cases had actually been the suspect, suspect had been previously identified. Okay, and all so, of these, once the, the kits are, are processed, it then goes into like a system. So if that person's DNA pops up somewhere else, they could be linked to this, so this other crime? if that individual is arrested again, it's in a system. And so their DNA match, their DNA is in that system. Okay. So, um, and it's there forever. All right, so 65 kits tested each week? 65 is kits tested each, each week. And we project that um, out of the 65, um, 20%, you know, these are numbers, rough numbers that could be, um, we could receive a hit. And then what happens at that point is what we want to make sure is that the victim is notified immediately. Like we said, these victims mm -hmm. have been waiting so long for justice to be served for them. Yeah. And so we want to make sure they're notified from the district attorney's office, from law enforcement, through a victim advocate, and they don't hear about their case on the media or hear from someone right. else that the individual has um, been arrested. So these are some cold, or identified. some cold cases that really yes. could be solved pretty quick and you're yes. expecting to see that happen. Yes. Thank you so much for joining yeah, us. Pleasure. Appreciate it. Glad the police finally got that grant money. Thank you. Good to Thank see you it for having put me. to use. Coming up here on